new thermal cam, InfiRay P2 Pro and Dr. Bam wants to check if this camera really works. Let's directly go, Master Tim. So uh, what I want to tell you is that InfiRay sent me two of these nice P2 Pro thermal cameras um, for iOS or for iPhone um, with a lightning port and um, we should test them and report if they are really good or not. So what are they working in comparison to the Yukilon or to the Kianli or to the Seek? And um, the Seek I replaced long time before with the Yukilon. Uh, you know that from all my other videos. And Infure said um, we can send you something which works better for you, Dr. Ben. And I said, okay, just send it over and I will check that. What I did after I got the cam, that is what I want to show you before, is that um, my colleague Andy just constructed something in the 3D printer. So um, we have um, a stand and a holder for the InfiRay. So we can just work on that stand. We can move up and down and we have implemented a stand for an iPhone on the top. So we can use this as a standalone system. So we are not connected to the PC like uh, if we are using the Yukilon where we have a desktop um, app. But um, we are in this case like with the Seek, uh, we don't need to be in near um, of a PC. Has advantages, has disadvantages like ever because if you have the big screen of the PC and you are connected with USB, you can directly record um, the screen if you are doing YouTube videos and things like that and you have a big screen and can see it. But it has advantages if you use a standalone system too. So we just mounted an iPhone 11 Pro here. Um, understand you can use every other phone you in theory you can use a tablet too so we can modify that stand in any way if you um, want to use a p2 pro and um, you want to build um, this in your uh, 3d printer um, by yourself we will add a link to the stl files under this video so you can download for free and you can um, print this stand and this holder by yourself and can use it with the p2 pro from InfiRay. What I want to show you before we start um, with the functions is how that, ah, before we start, I would be very happy if you would subscribe that channel, okay? So we switch to the top cam and we just open up the package of the InfiRay P2 Pro. So they sent us two pieces. So just open the box. Back in the days, it was you had to buy one time um, the camera and one time the macro lens. Um, now it's everything included in the P2 Pro box. So here we have one time the camera, like this. That's the thermal cam. And we have the macro lens. And the macro lens can, it's, mag it's magnetic. You can just put it on here and it holds perfectly, okay? And then normally you can plug it into your smartphone and then you can use it. But if you use the macro lens, um, you need to um, have a distance, a small distance to the device or to the logic board on which you are working. And um, it's really hard if you work with your smartphone and you just go a little bit up so um, the build, uh, the, build <laughs> the image isn't uh, sharp enough anymore. So we just uh, did a stand for that and everything is fine. So and in the stand, I want to show that again to you what we, what we did here. So back to the box. So for the stand, you can see it here. The InfiRay P2 Pro is integrated with the macro lens. Uh, here we have um, a lightning uh, cable, a lightning cable which goes from uh, female to male. So we can just um, plug it in here. Here we have the cable and it goes up to 
the smartphone, okay? And then we can work in a fine way with that. Now I just want to check um, the function with you. I already checked that before and I was really amazed because this camera only takes around with the macro lens, I think around 350 euros. And that's not much if you buy SIG and you do macro lens and you print your adapters and things like that. I think it's all about um, 600 euros. So that's much more. Um, if you buy a Yukilon or Kian Lee, um, it's exactly the same. It's pretty much more than 600. Um, so in this case, we have really a low cost solution and um, I checked the quality and I was really amazed for that. So let's see um, if we can um, solve that case with that camera. We have an iPhone 7 here. I already opened the phone before and we have a short on VCC main in this case. So the phone doesn't boot at all. Um, if we connect power supply, we go directly up to five amps. So in this case, we need to see where is the short circuit and then we need to remove the short um, to get access to data, to get um, a booting phone again. And therefore we use the P2 Pro because it helps us to detect the fold in a fast way. So I just remove the stickers on the back side. I don't know where the short circuit is. I didn't check before. You see the, um, the clue sticks are original um, on this board. Okay, we need to download the Infiray P2 um, app. Um, it's called Thermal P2. So we can add a link for um, the App Store if you want. Here we can just um, check our color profile. I want to have the same as I had on the Seek and on the um, Yukilon. And then we need to connect our logic board. It's an iPhone 7. So let me have a look where we have the iPhone 7. So here 8 plus, 6S plus. 7G. Okay, 7G is good. And we connect the board. And then, so here we can take a video of everything. So if we now just activate the output here, activate the video here, so Tim can use this video later. And here you can see that's the MOSFET on the bottom. That's normally that it's that it is heating up. We go to the top. Oh, what do we see here? And, oh, one cap. Tim, what do you think? I think this looks really clearer than on the Yukilon. Yes, I was about to say the same thing. Yeah. The image is it, really good. Yeah, it's, it's clearer as on the Yukilon. And for me, it's clearer as on the Seek um, with two macro lenses. And even if, um, if it's almost the same, it doesn't take much more difference, but the price here is the thing. So it's a really cheap cam, which works perf perfectly for that. Do you see that? How the cap sliding up, it's crazy. Really sharp. Yeah, really sharp. We just go under the microscope and have a look for that cap. Oh yeah, and we can see it. For this cap, we didn't even need a thermal cap normally. So if we had a look before to the board, um, we had seen that. So here, one cap, we can just knock it out and we are done. So that's not the problem. But what we saw that we have really, really a high resolution for that and we don't need to pay much for the thermal cam, yeah? And if, we, if you um, get our STL, you can see it's a stand where we don't have a, a movement in the whole system, so it's really strong. Um, this one we just took out of another stand and we just fixed it by two screws on the bottom. And um, I think this is really a, a nice solution. So for this, we just need a, a little bit of filament and uh, downloading the STL and print it, that's, that's all. So we print that with the Bamboo Lab uh, 
X1 carbon within some minutes, so that's not the problem at all. And um, then we just have a nice thermal cam, which really works fine for that what we need. Now we need to have a look if our logic board wants to reboot after um, our thermal cam helped us to solve this issue. So 7G, 7G connect. So yeah, the short circuit has been gone. And if I try to boot this logic board now, we should see an apple again here. So we just wait a short time and we see an apple. So we have access to all the important data here again. And we did the diagnosis within about a minute and it was clear to see. What I want to tell you, I just end up the boot here because personal images in the background probably. What I want to tell you is that I checked the function of this cam before and I had today in the morning, I had an iPhone 6S. The iPhone 6S had a shorted main power IC because somebody overheated it, so I took it out. And then we had a three milliamps short on the board, only three milliamps, really low short. And I did the diagnostic with this cam and I clearly saw um, a cap 0402 which was sh uh, which had a short circuit you didn't saw anything at the cap but you saw this these three milliamps you, you saw like here the five amps so it, it was crazy but I hadn't uh, the time to do the video today in the morning because this was a data recovery job and I had to end up this case. Tim wasn't here and we wanted to do a nice video with a cameraman so we can see the stand and everything. So, um, but trust me, even with low shorts, that's a really great thing um, for doing diagnostics. I still love my Yukilon. I still love um, the clone of Kian Lee for that and we still sell that because it's a great camera system and um, you can connect it to the PC and everything is really fine but for this cam I have to say that it's really really a nice thing if you don't want to invest a lot of money and you want to have a great cam so and that's all I think you should get that cam you should get that cam. We will give you a link under the video where you can order the cam. And I would be very happy if you would subscribe that channel here because it helps us to get bigger and to give you more and more content. Okay? Thank you guys. Thank you guys. We see us with the next one. My name is Dr. Ben and if you need a daily recovery, go to rescue-repair.com. I'm out. Goodbye.